everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today's video is all about this graduation makeup look. I, it, literally, it's so simple to do and it's really, really easy. So if you're interested in knowing more about this makeup look, stay tuned and let's begin. Okay, so I already started off with doing my eyebrows. I feel like everyone does their eyebrows differently so there's no need for me to show how I do my eyebrows. And I conceal, concealed around my eyebrows. I also brought the concealer all the way down onto my eyelids so I just primed my eyelids with my concealer. So I'm just gonna go in and set my concealer and I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and you just want to push that into all the lines on your eyelid okay so once that's set in I'm going to go ahead and go I'm gonna go in with color correcting so if you want a full in-depth video on how to get rid of hyperpigmentation and dark spots I'm going to link the video in the description and also on the screen so you can watch that full video but today I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs color corrector I'm just using the color getting warmer okay after doing that we're gonna go in with our eyeshadow and today I'm using this purple color but when I put it on my eyelid I feel like it doesn't come out that purple it starts coming pink but we're going to focus that on our brow bone and just slightly into our crease and I'm just gonna apply that on the other side as well then you're going to go in with a blending brush and you're just gonna blend out the outsides I don't know about you guys but for me when it comes to graduation I want to go so glam I'm I want glam I want very glam I want to look really good I'm going to be going out after the graduation ceremony as well so I want something that will look so nice that will last on my eyes I feel like sometimes I don't know if this is just only with me but I noticed that sometimes the color that's inside the pan when I put on my eyelid is not actually the same color if that makes sense maybe because of my skin tone and my undertones mixing in with it but that's why you have to play around with the colors first so I'm just gonna going to get some black I just want to add a little black to this look here I just want a little bit so you just want to focus the black on the outer V here very lightly I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend out that black okay so now I'm going to go in and take this royal blue color here and I'm just gonna focus this also on my outer V and then slightly bring it slightly very slight into my crease so I'm just gonna blend that out as well so now we're going to focus the lighter blue color on my eyelid and this is just gonna prep it for the glitter that we're going to be putting on so you want to focus it on your eyelid and I slightly bring up the color a little bit more because I have smaller eyelids so I want the, the color to show a little bit more okay so I'm just gonna go back in with that purple color and I'm just gonna lightly just blend out the crease once more just so everything's much more seamless once again you lightly blend out everything and don't worry if eyeshadow gets to the side like how this is because you're going to be putting on your foundation and cleaning up the fallout that you have there and that's why I always do my eyeshadow before putting on foundation but now I'm going to be putting on my blue pigment that's the pigment from NYX so I'm going to be focusing that pigment on my lid space here just where the blue color is so I'm just going in with the shimmer blue here and I'm just focusing it on the middle of my eyelid and I'm just placing that over the pigment here I'm just going to blend out around it I'm just using the purple color again just for the top part of the blending I'm using a clean blending brush and I'm just going on the outsides here okay so I'm just brushing off the excess that I have here so I finished putting on my lashes I would recommend if you have really full-on glam lashes it will look so good with this makeup look as well but use what you can and use what you have so now we're going to go on with foundation and I always put on my foundation with my concealer brush I just feel like it goes on much better and you want to wear a foundation that you know will be perfect for graduation that will last long full coverage if that's the look that you want to go for and you just want a foundation that's full that will last a long time because you know for graduation we're waiting a long time before we even get our diploma because the amount of people they have to go through and then you're taking photos after and then if you're someone that goes out after graduation so you just want to be mindful and I would always recommend I got foundation on my earring <laughs> I would always recommend for you to just pick a foundation that you know is your favorite that looks good on you that will hold up for a long time and with my foundation I'm just cleaning up the outsides around this look here okay, I'm going to blend out my concealer here underneath my eyes so I just noticed I used the wrong shade of foundation <laughs> it's much harder now here in Ontario so I got way darker and ha ha Ah, this is really funny, but I'm going to fix that. I'm just gonna contour. Just have to fix that. 
But it's okay because I'm going to add some color back into my face. Okay, I'm just going to use my beauty blender and I'll blend out this color here all around my face. Okay, so now we're going to set everything because we need to set everything. Okay, for graduation, you want to make sure that you're setting your face because you want your makeup lasting. I feel like setting your face is essential and most graduations occur in the summer, so we need to set. And I'm just using the Sasha Buttercup just for underneath my eyes. I would say this all the time, but with the Sasha Buttercup powder, you get so much product. This will last you a lifetime. I'm just going to set my face with this MAC powder here on the darker areas. Ah! I got powder on my eyebrow. <laughs> La Jesus, son. So much powder is flying. <laughs> Anyways. So while my face is setting, I'm just going to put some more eyeshadow underneath my eye. And then you just want to go in with a smaller brush. And I'm going back in with that purplish, pinkish color. And I'm just going to focus that on under my waterline halfway. And I just want to diffuse out that color. I do the weirdest faces when I'm blending out this. And I want to get a blending brush. And just diffuse that a little bit more. Okay, what I'm going to do now, just brush off everything with the bigger brush here. You just want to use a bigger fluffy brush to brush off all the excess powder. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do next is set my face and you want to set everything. The reason why we're going to set our face for graduation is you want your makeup to last much more longer. You want to merge all these layers that we just put on our face and you just want your face to overall look so good and that's what setting spray is going to do for us. I like spraying a lot. It just makes me feel so much better. Hmm. We're going to put on mascara and once again, I always put mascara on my lower lashes But now I'm going in with my physician formula bronzer and I'm just gonna put that all on my contour areas. I Love this bronzer. It has little spe speckles spectacles of Highlighting highlights in it and it just looks so good on the skin especially when the sun hits my skin it just looks so good yeah I do recommend this and it just looks like this I'm going to go in with my pressed highlighter and this is the by Maybelline master chrome and I'm just putting this on my highlighted hair areas so now I'm putting on this lip liner by Annabelle it's a, my it's the one that I use a lot actually and I like using it because it, it seems similar to my skin color and I feel like since the eyes have so much going on right now I feel like going in with a simple lip color. And if you think a gloss will look good as well, you can go ahead and put on gloss. Let's see how the gloss will look. I'm done. Okay, we're finished. So this is it for the graduation makeup look. I hope you all really liked it. As you can see, it's such an easy and quick tutorial. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up or comment down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Au revoir. Bye. But here's some more videos if you want to watch.